Hello, this is a walkthrough of the shortcut challenge exercise. As you can see, I've already entered my name and student ID. So to get started, all we have to do is come down to the start button and click it. It'll double check, make sure our student ID looks good. Now it takes us to our first tab. One thing I wanna do before I get started is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on my formula bar. That way you see what I type a little bit easier. Now, as soon as I hit enter, it's gonna start timing me. So you gotta be ready when it starts timing you. And I'm gonna go actually very slow to just kind of walk you through step-by-step step each stage of this process. So let's hit enter and get to it. All right, so the first thing it asks me to do is to go to cell P5. All right, so to do that, I'm gonna use my control right arrow and then a single right arrow without control to take me to P5. Now, once I'm here, I have a couple options. All right, the slow option is to type equals sum, left arrow, then hold control shift left arrow to select that whole row. I can then hit enter and it'll actually give me my sum. A little bit faster way is I can delete that and I can use alt equals for the auto sum. Once I have my auto sum, I can hit control C to copy and then control shift down arrow takes me all the way to the bottom of the spreadsheet. Notice that it took me a few lines too far so I can just hold down shift without control, hit up arrow a few times, and now use control V to paste. Alternatively, I can use, rather than using control copy and paste, I can start at the top, control shift down, up a few, and control D then fills down that formula across the whole thing. All right, for my second step, I can now go to column L, Control shift down arrow to highlight the whole thing. Now control C to copy. Control right arrow moves me over to P5. One more right arrow to Q5 and control V to paste. That takes me through that second step. For the third step, I need to average each column of row, in each column of row 35, calculate the average of the corresponding column. So control left arrow, control down arrow, plus one more down takes me to F35, where I can type equals average with my open parentheses. Once I do that, I can use my up arrow with control shift up arrow to select the entire column. Now I can either hit enter, you don't actually have to close the close parentheses in this case. Um, it's good practice to do so, but if you're really trying to go fast and like in this case, you can go ahead and skip it. Now I get my answer there, and now I need to copy across to all the different columns. So to do that, control C, then control shift right arrow. Again, it takes me a little too far, so I'm gonna keep holding down shift, one left arrow back, and then control V to paste. All right, so that's through step three. Step four asks me to use the round function to round the average in each of these cases to zero digits, all right, to the nearest integer. So now, to avoid using the mouse, we need to find a way to get into the formula bar and change our formula. So to do that, I'm gonna hit F2. So F2 is what allows you to go into that formula editor. I'm gonna to go to the start of my formula and in front of average, I'm gonna type round. So I'm gonna round whatever that average is. And now I need to arrow to back to the end for the number of digits. So I'm gonna do comma zero because I want zero digits after the decimal place. Close my parentheses, and now I have my new value. Control copy again, control shift right arrow, and control V to paste. Step five is to copy this row, and we're gonna do a special kind of pasting in row 34. So real quick, control C copies, up arrow to get me into row 34, and now paste special. So here's an important keystroke is that we can do Alt E and then S. When you hit the S, you don't have to be holding down Alt anymore. And so I hit Alt, Alt E plus then S and it brings up this paste special menu. So there are lots of different ways to paste special. In this case, I'm gonna paste special values with V. That's gonna I hit V and then enter and it pastes special values across that entire row. Now it's gonna ask me to go to row 10. So I'm going to scroll up to row 10 with my arrow. Alternatively, if you want to, you can use F5 and type in F10 to take you right to that cell F10. So now we can type equals and it asks me to add the row above to the row below. 
So up arrow plus down arrow. I now copy that, control shift right arrow across, control V to paste. The next step is to set each cell in the range F21 to H23 equal to two times the cell above it. So I'm going to go down to F21. Again, you can scroll down with your arrows or you can use F5 with the go to option. Once we're here, we can say this should be equal to the cell above it times two. I can then copy that, two right arrows, two down arrows, and paste. All right, step eight, let's go to R5. So control right arrow, control up arrow, and then one more over. And now it says to sum row five. Now here I can try alt equals. In this case, the auto sum doesn't always work for you. So here we're gonna have to rely on actually using the sum function. So we're going to type our sum function and then control shift left arrow to select the whole row and then hit enter. All right, step eight was an easy one, but step nine is a little trickier. For step nine, we want to lock one of our cell references. So if I hit F2, again, to get into my cells, I see that I'm summing from F5 to Q5. When I say lock, I mean put the dollar signs around the cell references. That way they don't move. We'll talk about this in more in detail in a future video. For now, what you need to know is that the F4 key allows you to toggle on the lock property. So now I can scroll through my formula until I get to the F5, hit F4 to lock those cells, and then enter. I can then control shift end with control D to fill that formula down. Now I'm gonna to go to F36 and do a very similar thing. In F36, now I can actually use the auto sum. In this case, it works. And now when I'm in the formula, I can look ahead to, to kind of problem 11 there. It's gonna ask me to lock both cell references. So since I'm already writing the formula now, I'm gonna go ahead and use my F4. It's gonna lock the F5 and the F35 reference here. I hit okay. Now I can copy, control shift right arrow and paste to paste that entire formula across all the columns. Finally, it asked me to go to row 15. Let's go ahead and use our F5 to go to F15. We'll select that entire row. Again, Control Shift right arrow. And now I'm going to use Control X to cut. That's the cut command. Control down arrow, down one more, Control V to paste. And as the last exercise now, step 13, I'm going to type sum and select everything with control shift up, 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 right. I've selected everything and I hit enter. At that point, it tells me I completed the challenge in 443 seconds and I used the mouse zero times. Like in all these exercises, the less you use the mouse, the quicker you're going to be able to go. Finally, it takes me to my results screen and I can see exactly how long it took me to do each of the different challenges. I can actually zoom in just a little bit so it's easier for you to see. And so you can actually analyze, you know, which steps you're taking the longest, come in here and spend a little bit more time figuring out where you should focus your efforts on getting steps faster and faster. Good luck. Do your best to get this as fast as possible.